Welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Blanca Stella. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of new drugstore makeup. I love um, drugstore makeup. It is way cheaper than high-end and sometimes the quality is better than the high-end, but just sometimes. It just depends on the brand. First, I'm going to start off by um, prepping my face. I was out doing errands in the morning and I didn't have any makeup on, but it is hot outside. So my face did get a little sweaty, so I'm going to clean it off before I start. So, first I'm going to get a cotton a cotton round and wet it with my Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, which is one of my favorite ones that I use to clean my face before my makeup and what I use to take off my makeup. What I also use it to take off my makeup. So I'm just going to clean my face with it. So I'm going to be applying my moisturizer, and this is also by Garnier. This is the Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. It is one of my favorite drugstore moisturizers. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my face as well. And it smells really, really, really good. Just going to dot some. I like putting this on before I do my makeup just so I can keep it hydrated and moisturized and I won't get that oily throughout the day. If you're not new to my channel, you know I always start off with my eye makeup, so that's what I'm going to do. I did get two new drugstore. I got the Revlon one at Walmart. It was on sale. And it says new on here, so I don't know how new it is. And this is um one of their... Eyes, Cheeks, and Lips Palette by Revlon. And it has, it's in the shade 100 Romantic Nudes. And this is what it looks like. Oh, damn. It came with three mini brushes and they all fell out. Oh, well. This is what it looks like. Ignore this part. This, is, this was where the cell sticker was on. But this is what it looks like. And this is what the inside looks like. The eyeshadows. This right here are lip glosses. The middle one is a blush. And these two are lipsticks. And then the new one by Wet n Wild. This one is their Rose in the Air palette. This is what it looks like. I think I'm going to end up using this one. Just because um the colors are uh get, are attracting my attention more than the other two, but it has mostly mattes and two shimmers, shimmers, shimmers. And I repair my eyelids, so I'm gonna go in with a transition shade. It has two trans trans transition shades, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be using both actually. So I'm gonna be going with this one first. And then after that one, I'm gonna be I'm gonna go ahead and apply this one. I'm gonna be applying my first transition shade with the new brush that I bought. This one is from Essence, and this one is their Eye Blender brush. I got it because it was really really cute, and I believe it was only two or three dollars at Ulta, so that's why I got it. I'm gonna I'm gonna be applying the first transition shade with this brush. Just going to apply this on my crease, and then as you guys know, I always bring it up to my eyebrow. So that's what I'm going to do. This is really, really soft. <laughs> now I'm going to be grabbing the second transition shade. And I'm going to be applying that only to the crease. So I'm going to be using a smaller brush. And I did get a new, another brush. There it is. I actually bought my first Morphe brush. <laughs> I was so excited. This was on, I bought this on Ulta's website three dollars i think i believe i wanted to get more but they were also now so like one is better than getting none so i got their m321 which is a small pointy brush and i'm gonna be using this one 
to apply the second transition shade to my crease and I only want it on my crease that's why I'm using this brush and this is this is my first Morphe brush every time I go on Morphe's, brush, um, Morphe's website I always plan on getting brushes but I always end up getting eye palette um, eyeshadow palettes instead I don't know why I just I have the brush set in my cart and then I take it out and I add a palette instead. But I'll probably end up ordering some brushes soon. It's keeping the transition shade really precise on my crease, which I really, really like. And then with the same brush, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this shade right here. This one right here. This one right here i'm going to be applying this one on the crease as well but i'm also going to use it to smoke out my outer v of the eye so what i'm going to do i'm going to grab it and i'm all, i'm going to start it off on the outer v first and then slowly bringing it to the crease like this and then I'm going to go ahead and dip it into the burgundy shade underneath that one, which is this one right here. This one right here. And I'm going to apply this on my crease. Just on the crease, I'm not going to bring it down to the outer V like I did with the other one. I'm just going to keep it on my crease just to give it a little bit more definition. Just like that. the ice cheeks and lips palette by revlon and i'm gonna be applying this shimmer shade to my crease to my crease to my lid this one right here i'm gonna apply that to the lid where i didn't smoke it out so i'm gonna bring it all the way to over here and i'm gonna re-smoke out the outer v to make it more look more blended so let's Let's do that, okay? This is more of a natural eye look. Um, I've been trying to do more natural eye looks on my channel just because I do like doing really colorful or smoky eyes. So I'm gonna try to do more wearable eye looks for you guys. Cause I know a lot of uh, people don't like wearing like really smoky or colorful eye looks. I'm just going to go ahead and redefine that outer V by applying more of the matte shade that I used to smoke it out. And just like that. So I didn't get any new drugstore eyelashes or eyeliner, so I decided not to wear any eyeliner. And I did apply my Ardell Double Up eyelashes in the style 207. So now I can go ahead and continue with my face makeup. I did apply my Wet n Wild um, matte um, primer just because I didn't get a primer either. So that's what I did. Superstay Full Coverage Foundation by Maybelline. I did a review on this. So if you guys want to see that, I will link it down below and I'll also put it on the screen somewhere. I really like this foundation and I decided to use it today because it is a new it is one of their newer ones, and I didn't get another one, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. So I'm just going to dot it on my face. And then for concealer, I did get a new one. It's not new, new, but it's new to me because I never used it. I got a NYX um, Gotcha Covered Total Coverage Concealer. Sorry, I read that wrong. <laughs> Their Gotcha Covered Concealer. This is a waterproof. And I got the shade Soft Ivory. This one right here. So I'm just going to dab it under my eyes. Down my nose. 
and right here. It looks pretty thick, so that's why I only applied a little bit, because maybe a little bit goes a long way, like it normally does with thicker concealer. I haven't heard of anyone using this concealer and I didn't read or saw any reviews on this so we'll see what I think about it that's pretty good coverage it does look a little bit greasy which I'm not liking right now but maybe after I set it will look better and hopefully it doesn't make me greasy because I do have oily skin. It does feel nice and it is not creasing under my eyes yet. It might not. To contour today I'm going to be using ALF's new bronzer palette. And I got the bronzer beauty one. It says a new on the box, but again, I don't know how new it is, but it does say new right there. This is what the palette looks like. It's right here. And I think I'm going to be using this shade right here to contour. Oh no, wait, that's a shimmery one. Never mind. I'm going to be using this one right here to contour. It has two matte ones and it has two shimmer ones, which I'll probably use the shimmer ones during the summer. So I can look a little bit more bronzy and stuff. I actually like the shade of it. It's not too too pigmented, so this would be good for a light contour. And my eye is looking really, 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 really ugly right now. Never using that concealer. I'm not gonna use it on my face anymore. For blush today, I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using one by Butter by Butter. <laughs> it's the Butter Blush by Physicians Formula, and I got the shade Rosy Pink. I never used none of their products, so I decided to get a blush just to try it out. And I also got the Butter Bronzer, but since I did use the Elf one, I'll probably use it in another video. But um, this is the shade it looks really really pretty so i'm excited to see how it looks and it smells really good it smells like coconut i don't like coconuts but i do like the smell of coconut so yeah i'm just going to dip my brush in here and apply it to my chickies that is really really pretty for highlights i'm gonna be using a new one by Heart Candy, this is their Glamour Girl Baked Highlighter. It smells kind of weird. But um, I saw this at Walmart two weeks ago and I picked it up. And I was like, girl, what? <laughs> but I like the packaging. It is really cute. It kind of reminds me of the packaging of Benefit Cosmetics. And this is what the actual highlighter looks like. It is really, really pretty. And apply it. Oh, that is really, really pretty. Girl, that is really pretty. I don't really like the smell of it. It smells weird. But it's fine. It's going in my nose. I am impressed. I've never used a hard candy highlighter before. So, you know, pretty pretty. For lip liner, I'm gonna be using one of NYX lip liner in the shade Carabet. But I need to take it out of the packaging. Anyways, um, this is what the um, lip liner looks like. This one right here. I'm just gonna align my lips. These were on sale on Ulta's lip. Ulta's lip. On Ulta's website, that's why I got some. I got two of them. One of Elf's new liquid matte lipsticks. 
I was pretty excited when I saw these. I was like, what? And I picked one up. And this one is in the shade Wine Tour. So, let's take it out of the box. I did get it at what? Target. Got it at Target for $5, I believe. And I like the packaging. It is really, really cute. And it looks like it's glass, but it's actually plastic. So, the one looks really, really cool. That is really, really creamy. I accidentally overlined. I didn't mean to, but I did. I like how it looks. I like the formula of this lipstick. It is lightweight. It's drying down pretty fast. And it's really comfortable. Nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my Milani Supreme Core Eyeliner in my waterline. And then for mascara, I'm going to be using Maybelline's new Total Temptation Mascara. I applied this to my top lashes before I applied my thick lashes. And I really like what it did for my top lashes. It lifted them up really, really good. More than any mascara has ever done before. So I was kind of hesitant of wearing um, fake lashes. But I did anyways. Because, you know, I have to. But I'm excited to see what it's going to do for my bottom lashes. And my lipstick already dried down, by the way. That was fast. This is a really nice mascara. Bang spray. I got two. I got Mario Badescu's facial spray in the rose water one. I've never tried it before. That's why I picked it up. This one right here. But I also got one of Essence. I've never heard of them having a setting spray. So when I saw it on Ulta's website, I was like, I gotta, I gotta get it. And it was pretty affordable. And I get this, I did get the small one. I think they only had a small one. I don't remember, but it's their Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray. So I'm gonna be applying both actually. Cause why not? So for some of you are applying the Essence one. Whoa. I like the pump on this one. Spread it out really good. Now I'm gonna apply the rose water. I did already use it when I washed my face this week. I think like three days in a row I used it and I really liked it. So it smells so good. I like how this makeup look came out and I liked every product. The only thing I'm not gonna use again ever ever again is the next concealer. I'm just not I don't like it. It made my face really greasy. It's it's still getting greasy. Like on my forehead, it's already coming through and it's already making my face cakey. I'm not using that concealer anymore. I'm probably gonna give it away because I don't like it. So yeah, but I liked every product. I love the highlighter and the lipstick the most. It's a pretty highlighter and the lipstick dry down really, really fast. And it is a really, really pretty. And it is really comfortable. And it's not too drying, which I really, really like. Thank you guys for watching. I have a... I do want to ask you guys something. If you guys know of a easy tutorial that teaches you how to do eyebrows, can you please link it down below for me? Because I need help. I really need help. I've been doing like my YouTube channel for a year now and I still can't do my eyebrows. Like I can't. So I need help with that. So if you guys know of a tutorial that you guys really, really like or found really helpful, please link it down below. Please link it down below for me and I will check it out. I would really, really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time. Bye guys. I will be right by your side.